there's a few new things that I'm excited to show you because that's gonna be a part of some new products we're gonna launch in 2021. So let's take a look. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to another Vlogmas. We are getting super close to Christmas, which means the end of these Vlogmas videos. And I know I did not do Vlogmas every single day leading up to Christmas, which is what Vlogmas actually is, but I got the majority of the days down. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> so for today's video, we have some pretty exciting things. We got a package from one of my favorite suppliers, Biz Fairy, and I'm gonna show you what I ordered from there. The garbage truck is here. So I will be unboxing that. I am pouring our one of our best sellers. It's our French lavender soap. I will show you that. And we have some packages that are going out the door. So a pretty fun day, I would say. And it's nice and sunny. Whenever the sun is out like this, it really gets my energy up and going. If you are new here, hello. My name is Jerrica and I am the creator and owner of Quench, along with my husband who is back there doing things. What are you doing back there? Putting together these bath bomb sets. We will show you that in a second. And on this channel, we talk everything, soap and bath bomb business, making the product, selling the product, everything, all the behind the scenes stuff. So if that's what you're into and you wanna know how people do something like this, subscribe. And everyone who has already subscribed, you guys are the best, you already know that. And now let's get into this vlog. A little bit of a plant update. This is the potted plant that we got from one of our friends and I watered it today and I just realized that there's, I think, six different plants in one planter and it's really cool because it's actually planted plants. There's soil in there. And I was thinking that this is an interesting arrangement because, well, it will last longer because it's planted, but it's strange because there's so many different plants and plants have such specific needs. So I wonder if this will last very long because I don't know exactly whether or not I should be treating it as one plant unit or if I should individually research what each plant wants and needs. I may just end up separating these guys at some point because this pot, even though it's so beautiful, has no holes in the bottom of it. That might be something we need to do in January. And Kale is working on some bath bomb gift sets. Over here, look how, oh, look how pretty these look. Wow, so nice. And yeah, these were from somebody that just messaged us today. They're like, do you have any product left? Because we're going to be, I don't know if we say this right now, but um, yeah, you like can shutting it. down the store, going on vacation yeah. mode. So we don't, uh, we're going to be taking things down. But this person just messaged us as they're local. And they're like, do you have any bath bombs? And these are the ones I like best because it's like, yeah, we do have some, we might be out of some scents, but if you're not picky about them and they're like, yep, just package them up. You, yes. uh, you pick the scents. So yeah. Kale quickly mentioned that we are going to be shutting down our shop for a little bit. We decided to do that because we're going to take a little bit of a break. I feel like we've worked hard, we deserve it, so we are going to do that. But yeah, if anyone wants to message us directly and you're local, we might be able to arrange something for you guys. That's an option. I'll show you guys from a distance here. We have all these packages that need to go out. People are still ordering things for Christmas, which is interesting because there is no way these are gonna get to their destination by Christmas unless, unless it's in Toronto or the GTA area. We've been getting people messaging us saying, wow, it got here super fast. Yeah, you I think these still get a shot to get yeah, there this on might get Christmas there. Eve. Uh, this might get there, so, we'll see. Yeah, there's a few going to Toronto down there, um, but the yeah. ones going to Alberta, man. Dempsey, what do you think? Do you think people should be ordering Christmas packages this late? <laughs> Dempsey is clearly overwhelmed by the Christmas madness, so I'm gonna leave her alone so she can settle down. She's getting too excited. So here is my package that I got from Fizz Fairy. If you guys have been following me a long time, you know that I use solely water-soluble dyes when I make my bath bombs, and I was getting low, so I put in this order, I think, about a month ago, and it just got here. Everything is backed up and delayed uh, when it comes to packages, so it's, it's fine. I understood that it was gonna be a long wait, so when it came in the mail, I was super excited because in here is not just our regular dyes that we use in our bath bombs, but there's a few new things that I'm excited to show you because that's gonna be a part of some new products we're gonna launch in 2021. So let's take a look. I almost poke myself in the eye with this knife. Careful with that. Fizz Fairy always packs things so securely, so I always know when I order that things are gonna arrive to me safely. 
and they usually include a personalized note, which is nice. Aww. Awesome. So, this is what the package looks like on the inside. Oh, the new products I'm going to put aside because I want to save them for last. But I had to order more amethyst dye, and this is the dye that I use for everything purple in my bath bombs. So, my grape bath bombs. I use amethyst dye, my lavender bath bombs, I also use this dye, I just don't use as much, so I get the different color tones. I love this one, this is so nice. I also have in here blue one dye, and this is the dye that I use in our Georgian Bay bath bombs. Very, very vibrant, but they do tend to stain my fingers whenever I make them. It's a really strong dye, so be careful about that. And I ordered a smaller size of orange because they didn't have the larger size available. I usually like getting them in this like big size, but they just had these ones. It's okay. I go through a lot of orange. Um, I like to mix orange up with other dyes to make fun colors. Yeah, really excited about that. This is a better angle. And now for the new things that I ordered. Very excited. I've been wanting to try forever the biodegradable glitters that Fizz Fairy sells because I really want to add them to my bath bombs. I feel like when people buy bath bombs, they really like that little touch of glitz and sparkle. So I went ahead and bought some. I got the bio glitter in bikini bottom. Oh my gosh, look at that. So cool. I got the bio glitter in champagne and roses. Wow, wow, oh my gosh. And I also got bio glitter in carnival. And I have never used bio glitters before, so I am super excited to try these out and show you guys whether or not these are worth it, if they're easy to use, if there's any, if there's any tricks that you need to keep in mind when using them. Super, super excited. These are gonna go on some bath bombs in 2021. So keep an eye out for that. And one thing I really like about Fizz Fairy, whenever you order for them, they always add in some extra goodies. And I wanna show you what they added. <laughs> so we have here some eco glitter in Rudolph's nose. That's interesting. I wonder if eco glitter is the same as bio glitter. Is it the same? I don't know, I'm, I will need to look into that. And then there's some mica in Lustry Violet. That's nice. Is that the same color as the mica we use for the French lavender sugar scrubs? Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, mica nice. is like, yeah, the sparkly stuff you use. You get a whole bunch of maple Canadian candies. I'll give you one of those. <laughs> they always include these candies. Awesome. <laughs> so that's fun. Yeah, really excited. I was running super low on these colors and I'm glad that I have them. Okay, so mm. excited. So now that I have that all out of the way, I'm going to be pouring our French lavender soap. I have a video dedicated solely on the entire process of how I make my French lavender soap. So if you're curious about that, then I'll put the link up here. I'm running low. I have to make a double batch. Let's show you guys how I pour that stuff.
so I just poured the soap and French lavender is one of my absolute favorite soaps to make because not only does it smell amazing, I love French lavender as a scent in soap, but also because this fragrance oil behaves so well. It accelerates my soap batter to the perfect amount, perfect speed, so it doesn't get hard too fast and it doesn't take too long to get hard, if you know what I mean. Did I say that right? I also really like the colors of it too. This particular soap, the, the purples and the grayish purple color didn't come to the top as much as I usually like to have it be at the top, but it's okay. If I cut into it, you will see those gorgeous colors on the inside of the soap, and that's fine by me. And I also consistently get really great textured tops using this fragrance oil. That's Kale in the background, being busy. Some people asked me, how do I even begin? Where do I even start with scents? How do I know which products to add to my line? The number one scent you should probably start with, you don't have to always have this scent on your line, but I highly recommend getting a lavender on your line because it's one of the most popular soap scents. People love the smell of lavender. Even if you don't like it, at least start off with it because you will definitely have people asking you for lavender. Hey guys, we just got back from a grocery run. Our province is going into lockdown as of, you know what date it's going into lockdown, Kale? I forget. December 26th. December 26th, so we thought we would stock up on some groceries before there was a province-wide shutdown. Even though grocery stores will still be open, we wanted to make sure that we grab some groceries now as opposed to later. They might be experiencing some shortages, so you never know. We just had an exciting moment right now. I just got a package delivered and I'm excited to show you what it is. It's over there. So this channel has been growing like crazy ever since I started to post videos pretty regularly and I thought, okay, this YouTube is growing. I really want to start investing into this channel so that we can take it to the next level. And this is one of the things I decided to invest in so that we can level up and hopefully continue to grow this channel. I got this from Amazon and I'm currently struggling with it. <laughs> I'm so excited. A lot of the equipment that I use right now, I bought a long time ago because there is a part of me that always wanted to add YouTube as one of our income streams for our business. And I never really got around to doing it. Like I said in the previous video that we had, I had my nine to five. I didn't really have the time to invest in filming videos, editing them and posting them because it all takes a long time. And now that I, ever since I quit my nine to five, I was able to go into this full force and I'm so glad I did and I want to continue to keep the ball rolling which is why I invested in some things like a microphone. <laughs> I noticed in the last sit down with Kale and I the audio was not great and that's always bugged me so hopefully this microphone will help you guys hear us better. I know that I talk really softly. This is definitely something that will help you guys hear me better. I'm a very soft speaker. And the next thing is a new lens. So I film my vlogs on a Canon G7X and if you want to know the exact make and model, I have the link down in the description. I love this camera for vlogging. It's so light and easy to take around with me around the house. But I also have another camera. It's a Canon 70D and I bought that one originally to make really nice YouTube videos. And the reason why I haven't been using that is because I bought a lens with it that's super heavy and super big and clunky and I don't have the right tripod setup for it because the whole setup is a lot heavier than what I'm using over here. So I decided to invest in a lighter lens and this is the Canon 10 to 22 millimeter and what this will do is give my Canon 70D a much wider shot and it'll also be much lighter so that I'll be able to vlog with it, take it around with me. Hopefully with these two purchases my sit down videos will be a lot clearer and you'll be able to see me better and it will overall just raise the quality up of those videos which will make it a lot more enjoyable for you guys. And I forgot to mention this microwave, microwave. <laughs> this microphone is a Rode, a Rode microphone and it sits on top of my camera and it should pick up my voice a lot better than 
what the in-camera microphone has already done. I mentioned before I tried to be a photographer and that didn't work out. I just love lenses in general and this is a lens I would never have thought to buy for my photography career per se. <laughs> But I hear for filming, it's great because like I mentioned, you get a much wider picture. You can see more of the room and it's a lot lighter. So excited for these, yay. Hey guys, <laughs> it's late at night. It's about 11 p.m. And before I sign off completely, I wanted to do a question of the day from the previous video that I posted. Today's Monday, right Kale? Today's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. It's the video I posted Monday. The comment that I will be reading is from someone named Pizzazz Lee. Love that name. And they commented slash asked, hello in capitals. Thank you for the information. Just wanted to know where do you get your polysorbate 80? So I get all of my polysorbate 80 from Windy Point Soap Supplies in Alberta, I think is where they're located. And the reason why I always get it from there is you can get polysorbate 80 in four liter size jugs. And I have been using their polysorbate 80 ever since I started making bath bombs. It is a great ingredient and definitely a great supplier for polysorbate 80. So I highly recommend them. I highly recommend them for a lot of my supplies. They were my go-to when I first started making soap and they still are even to this day because they do sell things in small, ooh, they do sell things in small amounts and they also sell things in bulk amounts. So I think they are very well capable to service small businesses that are just starting out and bigger businesses like mine that are, we're not big, big, but we definitely have been buying ingredients in bulk. They are awesome. Anyways, that is the comment of the day. If you, and this is Dempsey being carried by Kale. Aww. How do you feel, Dempsey? She's feeling a little tired. If you want to have your comment read in the next video, please leave a comment below, ask any questions. Definitely ask in the video comments because I feel like that is where I am most likely to answer your question. A lot of people have been messaging my Instagram and emailing me and even sending messages on my, on my Etsy. But if you want to get an answer, the most likely place will be in YouTube. And I think that's the best place also because so many other people who have the same exact question as you will also be asking that question. If you have any questions about what you saw today, please do so in the comments below. If you like this kind of video, please give a thumbs up. If you've used Fizz Fairy's biodegradable glitter, let me know in the comments below as well. And if this is the type of content that you are into, if you want to continue to follow my journey, please subscribe. And all of my subscribers, oh my god, there's almost 5,000 of you. I know that right now the number is, is at, what is it? It's at almost 4,700, which is crazy. The number just keeps going higher and higher every time I check. Thank you so much for subscribing. I so, 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 so appreciate it. And I've been loving getting to know a lot of you. A lot of you guys have been commenting every single video. That is so cool. I love that I'm getting to know so many people on the same journey as me or have been at the same point on their journey as I was a year or so ago. So who knows where you'll be at this point next year if you just keep going keep growing and keep evolving. Thanks again so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Have an awesome night. Bye guys. <laughs>